Okay guys, welcome to my channel, Beauty by Italy. If you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time to click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. Today, we're gonna try out some new Moonshot cosmetics. Now, Moonshot is a Korean brand and they're carried locally by Freya. Freya is a beauty destination and they have some brands that are already locally available such as Makeup Forever, Benefit, but they also have like some really hard to source products like Riki and today's topic, Moonshot. So today, I have a primer, a BB cushion, and a lip tint. Let's get straight to the try on. So why don't we start with the product try-on. First is the Moonshot Multi-Protection UV Fixer. It has SPF 50 plus and PA 3 plus. Now when a sunscreen says 50 plus, it's because advertising bodies have regulated that they can't try to upsell um, sunscreens that have more than 50 SPF because consumers tend to believe that it's that much better for you but actually more than 50 only offers minimal additional sun protection. As for PA3+, the highest you can go is 4+, and 3+, is actually pretty good. So one pump is about B size and you can see that it's really pinkish. I have some issues with my redness sometimes so I'm scared that it's going to emphasize that but I think that if you're pretty fair and you want like an even pinker or redder flushy kind of glowing look this could be good for you spread 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 spread, spread. It has a bit of fragrance I don't normally get on well with fragrance So it does bring that kind of like glassy, mirror-like, pearlish glow. The texture is really close to sunscreen but instead of like that drying, thick paste feeling, it feels a little bit closer to skincare because there is a hydrating feeling with it. So it's really perfect for my dry skin. I think if you have oily skin, this may start to feel a little bit too heavy for you. But on me, especially with my texture, like it's really great. I feel like it flattened and sort of camouflaged all my tiny like flakes and humps. So next we have the Moonshot Micro Setting Fit Cushion. My shade is 201. Freya only sells two shades and the other shade is 101. So I guess this is the darker one. I'm kind of positive this is a good shade match because um, usually with Korean BB creams, I usually suit the darker shade and as you can see on my hand, the shade match looks pretty good but we still have to check on my face because I'm going to be applying this on my face and not my hand. The first thing that I really like about this cushion is the puff. You can see there's a point at the top and I think it's going to help me blend on the corners of my nose and near my eyes a little bit easier. Next thing, I also really like the texture. It feels really rich and creamy. As it says on the label, it does feel lightweight. And I think it can perfect some of my texture issues as well. Wow, oh my gosh, okay. Coverage is pretty good. It's definitely more than what I expected from a BB cream. And even for regular foundations, this kind of coverage is pretty nice. You can see that it almost covered my dark circles even if I had just put like a few pads of product on. I'm gonna continue blending on the rest of my face. The shade match is pretty nice. My gosh, I think I have a new favorite BB cream. Okay, this cushion is the bomb. It's really good. I love how it's not like too watery, so you do get a little bit more coverage than with usual BB creams. 
I also like the finish. I feel like it kind of smoothens me a little bit. There's like some veil effect for it. Now, as for being lightweight, I don't know. I mean, it is BB cream still, so it does feel a little bit like wet. And I don't know if with the primer, it's making me feel a little bit sticky and a little bit like it's there. So the cushion is like making its presence known and I don't know if it's due to its own weight or the primer that I put, but yeah, everything is like a little bit it's not really weightless right now. But overall, I really love the finish. I love how like brighten up my face without giving me that kind of grayish, ghostly look. I also love the dry finish. Baby cushions tend to feel like really wet and they never feel like they set. But this feels like it's a slightly powder finish. So it's like demi-matte, but it still gives you that mirror-like glossy glowy finish. So lastly, we're gonna try this Moonshot Cream Paint Light Fit in Hey Rosa, it's M117, so I think that's like a matte finish. Um, I love this kind of texture, it's like airy, velvety, and I love how the applicator has that groove so it can hug your lips more fully. Oh my gosh, it has this super yummy vanilla scent. I love the color, I love the finish. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Korean New Age tints where they're like kind of velvety, silicone-y, they move and they're matte, but and the colors are always like really nice, kind of light, blushy colors that really, really suit Asian skin. I'm just gonna blend the edges for that more Korean gradient look. So this is the cream paint um, with blended edges. I super love it. I love this look. I love this texture. You guys know I'm such a huge fan of Korean velvet tints. But just for laughs and for like good measure, why don't we apply it on my cheeks also? Because I really like the texture of this product. It's like kind of like whipped mousse. And it's really easy to blend. It blends invisibly and seamlessly. Uh, let's hope that's not too much. Oops, that's too much. Yeah. I really love that. I love that product. Oh my god, that's so good. Um, then the editor in PV has been raving about that product for so long. I've been ignoring it because I know I will love it. Why do I avoid the things that are good for me? Anyway, this is my Freya Moonshot look. What do you guys think? I'm really happy about the BB cushion and the cream paint. Now, I think the BB cushions have a really good reputation. Even in Korea, they are always like sold out. Hopefully you find your shade in it, but I kind of doubt that because it seems like it's such a limited offering. So I think this cushion has more of a petal finish or a cloud finish rather than the typical dewy BB cream finish. But I like it because it gives me hope for the longevity of this product. Yeah, it looks re and it looks really good. It really perfects your skin's textures. The cream paint was awesome. I have no words. It's really trendy. It's what's in right now and it really delivers on being a cream paint. I love the color. If you want something deeper, I've seen deeper shades but this one is perfect for the looks that I'm going for these days. I love blending it out because it blends seamlessly. The texture is just really like poofy and moussey. And I love how it sets on my lips because my lips do have a lot of lines and flakes. They're so dry. My whole being is dry. I'm just really such a dry person. Except my humor. So these like silicone new age matte lip tints, they're really nice on my lips because they tend to hide and sort of camouflage all of these texture problems. The blush on top of the primer, like I think it just really brought out that sort of pearlescent Feel. It blends invisibly and seamlessly. So whenever, wherever you want to have the color concentration, just press it on there and then keep blending outwards and all the lights are just gonna disappear easily. If you were to pick one item, which one was the most interesting for you guys? I think my favorite was the lip product. 
But let me know your favorite in the comments. That's been my review. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.